Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy Keith. I'm back with another video, finally. Um, so today, basically, I'm gonna be doing a video of all of my online stuff that I've been picking up. It's basically a big haul um, from accessories, clothing, and sneakers. Um, so let's get started. So first off, um, I picked up these Retro Super Future sunglasses. Um, you can look them up on Instagram at Retro Super Future. Um, it's a brand that was made in 2007. Um, they are out of Italy. Um, basically, I'll just open up the box and show you a bit of what they have going on in here. Um, they basically pride themselves on high quality eyewear. Um, so this is the inside right here. Um, packaging with the actual glasses in it dust cloth and some paperwork inside um, I picked these up off Essence um, for 140 I think they were having a private sale when I picked these up um, a lot of people like to say that these are like Ray-Bans but I actually think that these are better than Ray-Bans um, put them on show you what they look like yeah Boom. So yeah, a lot of people say they use it like Ray-Bans, but I like them better than Ray-Bans. I'm not really a heavy, well I wasn't really a heavy glasses guy until my stepdad caught me a pair of Versace sunglasses and I was like, nah, these fit me. So ever since then, I've been doing a lot of research on glasses um, and these were the second pair that I picked up. Um, so like I said, here, Retro Super Future. You can find them on Instagram at Retro Super Future. Check them out, it's a pretty cool brand. Boom. So next up, I did order me a Vivian Westwood card holder. Um, it's basically a designer brand. Uh, I got this from Essence as well. I paid, I think it was on sale for 88 plus shipping. So I paid just under $100 um, for this card holder. Um, well, this is the packaging that it came in. Just a traditional uh, square box. Came in this paper. Um, Wells card, little information inside. But uh, this is the card holder right here. So basically, uh, got their logo on there. Um, other than that, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six compartments for actual cards. And then they say you can use this one for cash. I really keep cash on me. I need to start, but um, yeah, it's my new card holder. Pretty good quality leather on here. Um, I think it'll last for a long time. So y'all should check them out as well. They also have clothing pieces as well. I really haven't found anything that I like particularly, but um, other than that, they have a pretty good accessories as well. So you should check them out. Vivian Westwood. Boom, car order. Put this in my pocket. So next up, um, I'll just go ahead and go over these. Just some traditional socks, champion socks. Um, I got tired of my Nike socks uh, doing me bad. Basically, after a couple wears, and after a couple washes, um, Nike socks really do start to fade away. And I was like, why am I paying this much for some Nike socks? Um, why not just go ahead and cop uh, something of good quality for a cheaper price? So, search for these champion socks. I haven't tried them on yet, but just from the quality, I can tell that they're pretty good. I'll come back with a review on how I like the socks in the future. But yeah, pretty much champion socks. I got these off Amazon. Um, Fat Kid Deals on Twitter posted a sale um, and they had them for like $10. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna just go ahead and get them. Um, so champion socks, traditional white colorway, uh, champion logo, nothing special. All right, so next up I'll go over my hats that I've picked up. Um, so no lacking. What is no lacking? You can find them on Instagram at what is no lacking. Just a traditional trucker hat. Um, I also got a blue colorway as well. It's in my car. Um, but yeah, black on brand. Y'all should check them out as well. What is no lacking? It's the red one. It looks kind of orange, but um, it's the red one. Got the blue one as well in my car. Uh, Pick these up for my boy Jeff. I um, went to high school together. Uh, $25 each. Y'all should go check him out on. Uh, Instagram at what is no lacking. I also have a varsity jacket that I'm gonna show y'all that I caught from him as well. Um, it's five. So next up, I have a New York Yankees fitted. 
um, it has the New York Yankees, New York Mets, um, Subway Series patch on the side from the year 2002. No, actually 2000, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, traditional fillet, fitted, navy blue. Um, nothing too special about it. Yep. Um, next up, got a White Sox hat um, from the World Series 2005. Another fitted, nothing crazy, nothing to write home about. Um, it's just something I picked up that I wanted to show y'all. Um, I really don't wear hats like that. Um, I got a bunch, but I really only wear them when my hair not cut, so um, it is what it is, but I still cop them. Just something to add, another accessory to add to the dab, basically. Um, but next up, I did cop this champion beanie as well. It's getting cold outside. I need something slightly thrown to go over the ears. Um, I remember everybody was on champion heavy again a couple years ago. Um, they still have some good pieces. Like I said, I picked up the socks. If you have beanies, um, some of their tees are good quality or hoodies as well. Um, if you want to just cop something just to throw on a quick dab, a quick air and run, um, champion is a good brand to look into. So like I said, I got a beanie. Boom. So next up, I'll go ahead and go over the pair of shoes that I picked up. Um, I did get these New Balance. These are the gray made in USA. Um, of course, I got my size, a size 11. And uh, these are nothing to really do a full review on, which is why I went ahead and included it in this video. Um, open up the box. Traditional New Balance box, nothing crazy. Like I said, it's just a made in USA New Balance. Um, nothing too particular to say. These are the 990s uh, V3s. Made in USA with the red on there. Um, this is quick throw ons, quick easy dabs. Running out the house, you can put a lot of stuff together with gray. Um, so, you guys should check these out. New Balances has become a brand now um, that is heavy into the streetwear side of stuff. Um, a lot of hype around New Balance right now. So if y'all wanna check out some New Balance, this would be a good pair to start off with. Um, resale isn't too high on them, so I should check these out. The 990 V3s um, are now my favorite New Balance. Um, I remember in high school, we were doing like the uh, 992s and the 574s. Um, so, you know, they are coming back, but now heavy in the streetwear, streetwear side of stuff. So. Hey, check them out before prices start going up too crazy. I mean, there are pairs right now on the market with astronomical hype behind them. So, um, like I said, they are heavy on the streetwear side of stuff now. So, y'all should go check check them out. Get into um, some New Balance. They're very comfortable. Um, haven't really felt anything like them on my feet this far. Um, I know I'm really a Nike Jordan type of dude, but. Um, really getting back into the New Balance thing. Like I said, in high school, we used to wear them, but right now I'm looking for more of comfortable shoes that have, you know, that I can still dab, um, that still have some hype around them, street, on the streetwear side of things, like I keep saying, but um, yeah. So next up, um, let's see here. Oh, so this is Superficial Los Angeles brand i'm not sure if any of you guys know about it i should check them out on instagram as well superficial los angeles um in their t-shirts i do have to get a 2x i normally wear an xl but in their t-shirt i get a 2x so i can have a more baggier fit um this is from their oxymoron collection um it just basically says psychedelic research group um they're known for pushing the envelope on things like this so um, nothing too crazy. You got a couple colors in there. Yellow, purple. It's a black tee with red, white. Nothing too crazy. A quick throw on. Um, easy dab. Next up, this is from Superficial Los Angeles as well. From the Oxymoron Collection. Another tee. I've actually wore this one already. Um, but I did pick it up, so I did want to include it. Got this in the 2X as well. Um, this one has Temptations, um, 
and got a bunch of different colors in there as well money falling pills watches things like that um y'all should check them out at superficial los angeles on instagram Ooh. all right so next up i'm um, not sure if you guys are familiar with the brand uh bodega um they're basically a store that comes out of up north i'm not sure if it's boston or somewhere up north though um i know that for sure um let's see it is their uh, latest collection. This is a tee from their latest collection. I go a size up in their tees as well. Um, just a bodega, three back to back. Yeah, they're out of Boston. Um, they also have a location in LA. But uh, yeah, nice quality t-shirt. Um, I like very thick t-shirts um, that'll last and have good quality. Um, so when I look for t-shirts, I look for quality like these are the ones that I just showed you um, that I know that are gonna grip tight to the neck um, and that are gonna last for a good while. Um, this side of their latest collection, like I just said, you can check them out at Bodega um, as well on Instagram. They carry a lot of street, different streetwear brands. They don't just have their, um, their clothing. They have a lot of streetwear brands. You have Brain Dead, Stussy, um, a lot of different other brands as well. They have a lot of accessories as well. A lot of the hype accessories, um, candles, things, a lot of things like that. But I got a white one as well. Uh, sorry about that. But I got a white one as well. Just a purple and yellow bodega patch in the middle. Nothing crazy. Um, I got a 2X in this as well. Like a little baggier fit. Let's see. Boom. So we're moving along here. So. I um, also did pick this up, got this from Uniqlo. Um, this is out of the uh, White Mountaineering collab that they have. Um, White Mountaineering is basically like a hiking brand um, and they collab with Uniqlo um, for this actual uh, capsule. So I got an extra large, which is my normal size. Um, it's basically like a fleece with no hood or anything, just a regular collar fleece. Um, you got your fur going on there as well. Good quality jacket. Um, I paid, I think it was $60 for this. I mean, it was a collab, so I knew it was gonna pay a little bit um, more for regular fleece, but the good quality, I think it'll last me a long time. I needed a black jacket anyway. Um, winter is here, so need good quality things like that in your arsenal. Um, Next up, so like I said, um, what is no lacking? This is the varsity jacket that I was talking about. Um, got no lacking on the side, the left uh, jacket pocket. No lacking in cursive. I got a 2X in this as well. Um, he had hit me up and was like, bro, well I hit him up saying, hey, I got an XL, can I switch it out? Do you have a 2X? He was like, man, I already got a 2X to the side for you. Um, I knew it was gonna be over undersized. I didn't realize it until too late though, but hit him right up, swapped it out for me in the Met. Um, and that was that, but nice quality jacket. You, you always need a good varsity jacket in your arsenal as well. Got what is no lacking race. Fat, Speedway, I'm sorry, I'm fat. Boom. Boom, so next up, um, oh, let me talk about these. So I needed a good pair of camo pants. Um, I went ahead and copped some from Gap. Good quality cargoes. Um, they are the slim fit, so it's a slim taper fit. Um, not too skinny, not too baggy though, um, just right. Um, I did also get a good pair of uh, regular olive green cargoes as well that I've worn already. But I did wanna show y'all but this was the pair of cargos I picked up out of green. I ended up paying $70 each for these, I wanna say, but um, good quality, so it was worth it. I ain't tripping, it is what it is. Um, next up, this is another varsity jacket that I cop. Now, oh, that's another thing I wanted to say. So 
with these up and coming streetwear brands, um, they do take a long ass time to ship. I think they are basically doing pre-orders without telling us that they're doing pre-orders um, because like those shirts, so superficial LA shirts um, that I caught, those freaking took me, I wanna say three months to get. I think I ordered those in July, I wanna say, and didn't end up getting those until probably September, so two months, but still, um, yeah, I ordered in July, didn't get it till um, September, I wanna say. So that's another thing to watch out um, for those brands. It'll piss you off if you're taking too long to um, ship. But I mean, it is what it is, good quality stuff. Um, oh, and for those shirts, I did pay $45 each. Don't know if I said that previously, but I did pay $45 each, um, which is cool. Um, but now with this varsity jacket, um, I caught this from an up and coming brand as well called Hell USA. That's H E double hockey stick USA. You can search them up on Instagram as well. Now, um, this jacket I purchased in September and I just got it today. Um, it's an extra large, but it's fire now. It's fire. It is a fire jacket. But I had to hit them up like, hey, bro, what, where my jacket at? Because they sent me a tracking um, last month at the beginning of the month. And I was like, bro, I see you posting everybody else getting theirs. Um, where am I on that, bro? Like, this ain't that. But yeah, man. So, hey, Hell USA, man. Y'all can go check them out. But like I said, it takes a while to get the pieces. I understand they're up and coming brands. So, it ain't no smoke behind it. But... Yeah, it is gonna take you a while, but you'll be you'll be happy with the quality once you get it. Got this in the XL. Nice jacket, man. I'm gonna throw this on, you know, I'm gonna drip this with some. Dang it. But boom. So alright, we're gonna get down to the last two pieces, man. Um let's see here. So um I, I don't know if y'all know about the brand Pleasures, but um it's a brand that I rock with as well. Um got they have great quality hoodies, but it's a very thick quality. Um, it's gonna last you a long time. I did go ahead and get the Pleasure sweatsuit. Got the rainbow patch with Pleasures in the middle. Got this in the XL um, and the sweatpants as well. Got the same patch on the sweatpants on the left pant leg. Um, got these in the XL as well. I'm not sure if y'all hip to Pleasures, but y'all should go check them out. A uh, pretty cool streetwear brand that I've been rocking with lately um, for about the past year and a half, two years, I want to say. Um, good quality, got a lot of shirts from them, um, jackets and things like that. Um, so y'all should definitely go check them out as well. Um, and then the last piece, um, which ironically, I haven't shopped in Irma Outfitters in years, but I was in South Park in the mall, um, just walking around and I was like, let me go in here and see what they got. And they have some fire flannel jackets. They're called, they call them shirt jackets, but they're basically flannel jackets. Y'all should go check them out. Really good quality. They have a lot of different fire patterns um, and colorways. So y'all should go check them out. It's a quick throw on. Um, you can do a lot with these. Um, I seen they had a green and orange one, um, light blue. They have a lot of different colors, but I picked the brown because I want to go ahead and throw on my mochas that I got last year. Um, and, you know, freak them, freak them with it. So um, that was pretty much my clothing accessory sneaker haul um, that I had for y'all. Uh, the next video, I'm going to go ahead and do that Drake candle. Um, I've been trying to let it burn um, so I could give a full, good full review on it. So be on the lookout for that video as well. Um, and I'll probably start Sneaks and Eats um, at the beginning of 2022. So that's when I'll start out my Sneaks and Eats segment um, in for the first season of Sneaks and Eats on my channel. Um, like I said, uh, that, was, that was my clothing, accessory, sneaker haul. Um, so y'all stick around, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, we're going up 2022. Let's get it. Bye.